Hello there and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to tell you the story of a tea trolley. My family is all about the tea. Something goes sideways or you're celebrating, let's make it pot of tea. And you sit down and you enjoy the moment and you, you sit there with it and you live it. When I was a kid growing up, we had some chores to do after school. My mom and dad both worked. My older sister would often start to prepare dinner. And we knew that when my mom and dad came home, nothing happened until they sat down every single day with a cup of tea and had a chat. And that is how our dinner hour always started was a cup of tea. It never failed. It was a ritual and it was beautiful. When we have family get-togethers, there's always tea involved. And it's served in a tea cup as well. It's something that we've always done. It's special. If we have a baby shower, there are teacups and sauces everywhere. So I wanted to show you this teacup right here. This belonged to my great-grandmother. How blessed am I to have this? So today I wanted to talk about my latest project. My oldest daughter, she brought me a gift. She told her girls, I found something, we're going on an adventure, and then we're going to go visit Nanny. My oldest granddaughter is holding a very odd set of wheels, and the wheels are about this big around. And I'm like, wow. Okay, <laughs> what you got there? My middle granddaughter, she is holding a large glass tray with a, a wooden frame. And my little youngest granddaughter, she says, Nanny, we bought you a tea cart. She said, I saw it for free on the marketplace and I had to have it. It was white the color I would want a tea cart to be. But it was a pearly white, like you might see on your ceramics or Christmas ornaments, and it didn't really suit the piece. It's dark colored wheels, painted gold. Also, not my style. It, it looked fine. vision was to paint it in a chippy white. So I started to paint, then I realized that my nephew is getting married next year. He has always been a lover of tea, and he has met this beautiful, beautiful young lady, and she also, they are little, they're little tea grannies, basically. They are such a sweet young couple. I asked my sister to this tea trolley for the wedding. Put the guest book on it, maybe the cake. My sister, of course, said, yes, I want it. So I give it two good coats of white chalk paint. So then I start to distress it using some sandpaper and an emery board. And then I use a wet rag to give it some wet distressing to give it that really old, old look. So I finished painting it with Zach and Olivia's wedding in mind. So I give it a couple coats of clear wax and buff it till it glows. So the gold wheels had one coat of gold on both sets and I really wanted them to look like wood. So I painted them black and then I dry brushed 
a brown color over top of that. So the wheels I painted dark and I, I give them some white wax. And I just, I wanted them to look more wood-like, but the waxing really brought up the cloth in the wheel. Which I loved because I thought it made them look perfectly imperfect. I just wipe the wax back and I buff. Last weekend on Mother's Day, I took the tea trolley to my mom and dad's house because I did want to video it and their dogwood tree is in blue and it is spectacular this year. I brought a few teacups. That's really all I brought. I brought a, a couple teacups and this trolley and I thought I'm going to take pictures under the dogwood tree. My sister says that, oh no, we need, we need more, we need to style, we need to style this tea trolley. So back into the house I go and I make some tea. Let's get some nice colorful teacups and saucers because these are, what you brought isn't right. Out I come with a tray of my mom's teapot, some of her china that belonged to other relatives as well because it was also recently my birthday. I always have strawberry shirt for little girl. In this family, we love our traditions. You do it once and we like it. It's a tradition. So we're at my mom's house. A cake biscuit that she's always made for my birthday. And this shortbread recipe is from my grandmother. How cool is that? So here we are, we've got our tea and our strawberry shorts, some flowers, some dogwoods and some lilacs, and they are styling this tea trolley. I hope that you see what cottage core is to me and my family. Our engaged couple comes for dinner and our tea trolley is all, all set up and it looks beautiful and we've already taken our pictures. We were blessed to get a really sweet picture of them under the dogwood tree that was blooming so beautiful. and with this tea trolley that, you know, my daughter was involved in, and then it, it was just such a good day. And that's, that's cottage core to me. It's a simplified family life. It's inclusive of, I, I mean, we have a large family, and to not be able to gather this last year, it's been really hard. So we did, we did have Mother's Day, and 
some people sat here and some people sat there and we were a little, you know, we kept our distance, but we still got together. If you enjoyed my video and want to see more like it, please subscribe and hit the bell for the notifications. I would love to spend more time and chat. Cheers.